All right, you practiced? Yes, teacher. Yes, very good. Look. Um, mm -mm -mm. Let me see. Not working now. Estoy con datos por cualquier cosa si se me desconecta. You know why. All right, sorry. So pay attention here. I will give you the second part. All right. I know it's a lot of information, so don't worry. This is the second part, guys. Very important rule, and I will send you a, a, a video about this later. But very important rule is after a preposition, always use a gerund. What are some examples of prepositions? Prepositions to? like in, what else? To? Not, no, not to, not to in this case, not right now. For? For, what else? About, under, pay attention guys, before, also, on, no, not also. No, okay. No, by, for, about, from, of, of, <laughs> of, yes, very good. Okay, those are prepositions. If you are using a preposition, and then a verb, the verb has to be used in ing, the ing form, all right? For example, for example, we're gonna say, I am interested in learn English. Is this okay? Is that okay? Is it correct? It's not no. correct. Okay, if you have a preposition here, you have to use learning ing. Exactly. Very good. Learning English. All right. Another example. I can say I am proud of. I am proud of a B. The the president. Is that okay? No. 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 Of is a preposition, guys. I can hear children. All right, I am proud of being the president. This is okay. One more example. I'm gonna say before. Okay, before to bed, I brush my teeth. Hold on, can you hear my roommates guys? I brush my teeth. Okay, hold on, let me tell them. So before, <laughs> before, how do you conjugate this? <laughs> before going to bed, I brush my teeth, right? Because this is a preposition. Is it clear? Never yes. forget this, please, because this is a very common mistake. I'll send you uh, something later. So now I want you to do this exercise. We only have eight minutes, guys. So you have to do it quickly. You have to do it quickly. All right. I'll send you an image, match the sentences using this. All right, go ahead. And take a look at what's up here. Oh, Accept the invitation, everyone. Hello. 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 I am interested for cooking lasagna. Yeah, no, that's in in. D. Maybe G. D. G. I think it's an in. I think. Uh huh. I'm interested in. Web design, but I, I hate programming. <laughs> My case. Ay, sí. De verdad que odio esas cosas. Y eso es todo.
<laughs> Number two. Paolo is absent. Paolo is absent. I. H from school today because he's sick. H. Because he's because just he's bought a, a Ferrari. A Ferrari. I am bored. I'm bored. The next. Looking for a. For its football team? No. I. And. And six. Yeah, oh. uh, I am not very keen. Uh, no sé qué es Kimbo. Kimbo. Déjame. Déjame traducirlo aquí. King, King, teacher. King. Hi. King, King is like King, interesting. afilado. King on. Mm -hmm. Ah. Uh, King Gong, lamentar yeah. suavemente, dice Google. Ah, pero escriba, escriba King On. Oh, yeah. King On. Uh -huh. King On something, entusiasmado en algo. Exactly. On. Interes King On King, uh -huh. interesado en él. King On It. Interesado en. Ah, ok. I am not very keen on eh, in much eh, o en science. Ah. Yes. Ah, oh, entusiasta. Maybe it's later. I am not very keen on teacher. What is uh, king? King. Mm. Uh -huh. The answer is keen on, and keen on is a synonym of interested in, entusiasmado en algo, para algo. So it's oh, keen on. It can be a keen. I, I am no very you know, keen fishing. on fishing. I yes, that's the boring. one, exactly. Yes. And if you notice, you have on and then ing. So those are some examples. Munch. Um, yes. K for its football team. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. So. For the letter E, it could be Helen and Mary are excited about their trip around the world. Mm -hmm. Yes. How are you doing, guys? You need help? Uh, I think no. All right. You're doing well. Very good. Maybe learn. No. Uh -huh. De la número 10 uh, con la letra uh, F. Terry. Terry is scared of taking the leaf. He has to. He has <laughs> to. We're all here. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, teacher. Thank you. Hi. Okay. Uh, how was the exercise? Difficult? Um, no. It Just we have we have defined the the numbers with the letters, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Um, some examples, guys. Some examples. This part we're gonna do tomorrow. Okay, to continue practicing this topic. All right, ah, but okay. this part, I want you to try to finish it as homework. 
okay? After class, if you didn't finish, try to finish it right now. I will give you two answers just in case, all right? So, for example, kin, because you don't know this word, is mm -hmm. on. Okay, so it's kin on fishing. On, right. And it is, um, let me see, I am bored. Uh, the number seven. Number seven. Manchester, Manchester, a famous, in, who has the answer, guys? Famous? Uh, letter K. Famous four. Oh, my gosh. That was a mess. Okay. <laughs> Let me just delete this. Hold on. No, 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 no. So, yes, it's famous four. K. And King on. I. All right. I will send you the answers, but later. So you can finish this. Tomorrow we'll continue practicing, okay? But pay attention to something. This is the important part about this conversation. That you're gonna say, um, you see this example here? I hate programming, okay? On fishing, you have the preposition and then you have ing. So pay attention to that. All right, that's it. Any questions? No, teacher. No, all good. All right. Please join me tomorrow because this, this topic is very complex. It's a long topic too. So we're going to finish it tomorrow. All right. Have a beautiful night. Thank you, guys. Good, good, night. Thank you. good night. Good night. Good night. Thank you. The picture. Ah, well, <laughs> not tonight. It's okay. That's fine. Bye-bye. <laughs>